Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of my VRChat World Showcase series. I want to show you guys 10 cool worlds again and as always let's get right started. The first world for today is called Anara Sumanara, if I pronounced it correct, by Bacon Soda. And it is a amusement park with a very nice atmosphere. I really like it visually, it's like on an island and you have a lot of different attractions and the overall visual style of it is just very cute and nice looking. You can go on most of these attractions and actually ride them and they don't even feel that bad, like they feel alright. Uh, you can go here with quite a lot of people, there's enough space for big groups, but you can also just go here on a date maybe uh, with your special someone. I think the atmosphere is really suitable for that and just have fun. It's a cool world. Our next world is called Udon Saber by Chisha Neko, I think. Um, and it's basically a Beat Saber clone, but in VRChat, and it works really well. There's a lot of Beat Saber clones in VRChat, but I think this one is working the best. Uh, when you start, like you can play Beat Saber, then here you have a small house, and over here you have a nice screen where you can see and spectate other people pretty nice. And yeah, generally, you have a couple of settings here. You can also play Feet Saber if you have full body, and tweak a lot of things and you can select whatever song you want to play. Grab the sabers. You can also press trigger, then you don't have to hold them anymore. Select the difficulty, play. And then you can just play Beat Saber and it works pretty well. It's of course nowhere close to like the actual Beat Saber game. because you just have a lot more processing in the art chat. I'm playing horrible right now. You can also play with two people, you can play multiplayer, which is pretty cool. But yeah, Beat Saber works really well. If you have never played Beat Saber before and don't want to buy it for 30 euros, you can definitely play it here and still have a lot of fun. Maybe then buy the actual game if you really enjoy it. It's gonna be better, but a good way to test if you like the game concept. Next world is called Not Quite Home by Mugi1. And it's a very small room on a spaceship in space. And it looks very good, it has a nice atmosphere. You're in a small room, uh, you can look outside, uh, out of the window on Earth. There's your ship. You can also see the other bigger part of the ship, but you cannot go there. A lot of computers and here's your small comfy area where you can do a couple of things. If you press on this thing here, then you get a control panel and here you can do all kinds of different stuff with video player, mirror, music and everything that you expect from VRChat Worlds. And also another thing that I really like is the fact that you can open the window like this. And if you're here, you have a nice view down on Earth. From the bed, you can look down on Earth. That's pretty cool, right? It's a nice world to hang out with a couple of friends, if you like space, if you like sci-fi stuff. Also, it's quite performant. Next world is called Villa 42 by Zigor. It is a world that is perfect for big groups if you want to just hang out on a nice beach and play a bunch of party games. There's a lot of different games you can play here with a nice atmosphere. You have spin the bottle, you have a dice game, you can even play chess, beer pong, remote control cars. There's also a little secret hidden. You can find a couple of things and then enter a code. I didn't actually complete it, but for a bigger group, shouldn't be an issue to find all the clues. And overall, it's also well performing. So I think this is a perfect world if you hang out with a bigger group of people and just want to enjoy a nice evening on the beach with nice games. The next world is called Super VR Ball by Fax Machine and it's a very fun game uh, that you can play with multiple people where you are on a ball and you need to get through some parkour levels and collect melons. So let's quick demonstration, we can roll, collect some melons and then we need to get to the finish as quickly as we can. And then we go to the next level. You need to collect as many melons as you can, get to the finish as fast as possible. It's very fun to mess around with the physics. You can collide with other people, 
uh, and knock them off. And there's a lot of levels. It's you, you don't run out of content really quick. You can play like a whole hour playing new levels. It's very fun. It is very fun. I can definitely recommend to play this. Uh, it's more fun with people because you can knock each other off. Uh, but alone it's also fun trying to collect as many melons as possible and uh, get a good time. It gets quite challenging later on as well. Uh, at the start it's rather easy. But yeah, it's a very fun game world. Definitely check it out. Next world is called Private Jetstream by Movko. It's a more small hangout world, chill world. Maybe up to 15 people. But just acquired a lot of things you can do here. So for example, you have this wonderful camera where you can take some pictures and they get printed right away. Uh, I probably know this already. There's some nice ways to pour liquor and drink something. Um, overall the atmosphere is pretty nice. Like if we look here, there's a nice bench. Um, over here we have a little more liquor. Very nice hangout area over there. And behind, this is where you start, you have a couple other rooms. For example, this really comfy bedroom. I don't know why, but I really, really like it. It's like, I like small cave kind of bedrooms, as you may have noticed already. And I like that it's like, you're in the plane, there's not much space. You're like, safe. <laughs> there's a lot of mirror options there as well. Uh, right here. And then there's also a bathroom and a toilet, but there's too little space, I can't properly show that. Um, but yeah, it's a very nice place. Here a little more closer look of the comfy room. Of course, you also have a lot of mirrors, a lot of options, and yeah, generally good looking world. The next world is called Garden of Kadesh by Vectrio. And it is a very pretty world to hang out. It's quite optimized and performant, it's also big, so you can hang out here with a big group of people. 40 people shouldn't be a big issue. Um, and yeah, it, it looks very good, you can already see it here. Uh, this is the garden, you get here a little bit later. You start in a different area that looks very similar to Astral Bound, so Nova Rest, it's the same crater. You are kind of inside of a desert that is blue. And if you walk a little bit, you come to this place, which looks very good. Uh, over there, it's a very nice glass pane. There's a piano in front of it. Unfortunately, you cannot play it. Uh, it's only visual. And generally, the garden, uh, this is where you come from, from the other side. And yeah, this is the garden. It looks very, very pretty and it's quite big. There's a lot of mirrors and stuff that you can uh, used to hang out, not really anything else to do. There's a video player, if you want to watch videos, it's at the start. And yeah, really good world. Good to take pictures, good to hang out and just chat with people. Next world is called Happy Hill Dog Park by Dr. Kim. Happy Hill Dog Park by Dr. Kim. Next world, Dr. Kim. Next world is Happy Hill Dog. <laughs> I can't do it, man. Can you help me? Next world is called Happy Hill Dog Park by Dr. Kim. And in this world, you have a lot of cute doggos that you can pet and they sit down. And uh, all of them have like an object that you can pick up and you can throw it and then he will go and fetch it for you. Yeah, good boy, good boy. Isn't this amazing? It's so good. Yeah, 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 yeah. you're a good boy. Very well deserved. Um, generally, it's a very nice forest that we're in. So it's quite big, can hold quite a few people. I think there's four dogs that have things that you can throw around. That they will fetch, it's a nice campfire over there, a bridge and the river. They will, by the way, not go in the river. So if you throw it above or inside the river, then they're like stuck. Don't do that. Don't make dogs sad. Like, look at him, don't make him sad. He's such a good boy. And also the controller vibrates when you pet them. It's so like satisfying. <laughs> and even if you walk around, bup, 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 they will also follow. Well, he's here. 
It's an amazing world. Go check it out. Like every now and then, if you just want to be in a nice forest and play with dogs, it's it's very relaxing. I like it a lot. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> also, birds chirping around. Goodbye, doggo. Goodbye. Gotta go somewhere else now. Next world is called Space Colony Island 4 by S. Azagiri. And this is a kind of special world, a pretty cool concept to show uh, and experience once. Essentially, we are in a huge environment, in a huge tube. Like if you look around, this is a tube and you can go to any place in here. This is a map. If we look uh, here, there's cars. You can use those to get around quicker. And this is some kind of weird shader magic witchcraft, which makes it look like it's uh, actually in a tube or a spacecraft or whatever. It's really cool. You can go everywhere in here. It takes quite a long time to really get anywhere because it's so huge, even with car. So I can't really properly show it and you don't really notice it too much that it's like curving because it's such a huge scale. Um, but if you want, you can just drive a whole circle. And even if you have multiple people, it works. Like if you're here and then your friend is like up there, you will see them up there. It's not like a flat thing and it's just visually weird for you. It will actually look as if it is correct. And our last world for today is called Showgaze Apartment by Wolfie. And it is a very pretty good looking apartment. So generally, uh, we have a bedroom over there. We have a nice balcony. I'll show that a little bit more in detail soon. Uh, you have a small area to watch videos, a kitchen, a really, really, really nice and comfy, um, how's it called? Fireplace. And uh, yeah, over there's just the entrance area with also another mirror. Let's go to the Balcony, that's the word. <laughs> I present the balcony. It looks really good. I don't know. I really, really like the visuals of this balcony. You have a nice uh, chair, a chair. Did I just say chair two times? You have a nice chair, a table, some plants, really nice uh, beams from the sun, and good looking trees outside. I don't know. I can't really explain it, but I really just like, I really like the visual. It looks so good. I like this. Also like how it looks like if you look inside from here. Like overall, it's just a very nice looking apartment. It, it looks good. You can hang out here with friends and just talk. Uh, it's, it's very good and cool. <laughs> All right, but that being said, this is already it for this video. If you liked it, I'd appreciate a like and a comment. Maybe if you had one world that you really liked, or that you knew already, or that you want to be included, feel free to write it in the comment. I'd be interested in hearing what you like, what you prefer. As always, down in the description, there's a link to my GitHub project, Viachat Worlds Illusion, where I collected currently around 350 worlds, uh, nicely categorized and tagged. You can just download that. Then you have the right world for the right occasion, uh, quickly accessible, so that's pretty cool free to check it out. I was trying to include a little bit how big the world is or how usable a world is for big groups of people or maybe small groups of people so that you know the scale and also how optimized and performant it is. If you can get 40 plus people in here or not. Yeah, I hope this is okay for you, Salty. You were the one who recommended this or said that you would be interested in bigger worlds for big group instances. I don't really have this included in my own tags and I don't personally care much about it. But I'll try to include both big ones and small ones and also mention it uh, during the video. Also, I hope I get back to making more cool videos and tutorials soon. I had quite a few busy weeks. Also, that's why last week there was only this random Macarena dance, uh, which I did randomly in like five minutes. It was a super random idea. But apparently some of you guys liked it, appreciate it. If you have anything to say, feel free to write it in the comments. I read everything and I appreciate everything. Um, other than that, I wish you all a good day, afternoon, night, whatever time it is for you. 
and see you next time. Bye-bye.